Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel. If you already know us and if you're subscribed, uh, this isn't a music video or any singing video. This video will be all about makeup. As you can see the title, it's about my makeup haul and my search for tools and products for super dry face. And to those who are watching for the first time, I am Sandy. I am half of TJ and Sandy. We are, we are husband and wife singers and songwriters based in Manila. And we perform mostly for weddings. If you want to see a sample of our singing videos, I will put a link in the down bar para naman makita niyo yung ginagawa namin. Actually, filming in uh, my niece's room. This is Caitlin's room. Um, dito lang kasi maganda-ganda yung lighting. I'm actually sitting against the window. Uh, para natural lang, wala ko ditong ring light or anything else. And I'm just using my Samsung phone. Talagang ano lang, casual na casual vlogging lang just to document my makeup journey. We are now on our baby moon and we won't be singing for two months. Nasa US kami. Uh, kaya ito na lang muna, mag-vlog vlog na lang muna kami. Ako personally sa makeup and then we will also post siguro mga weekly updates regarding uh, our activities na nangyayari, highlights of the week. Ganyan. Anyway, we are on our baby moon. Uh, we are now almost, uh, ano ba, 26 weeks. So, that's around six and a half months. So, here's my bump. Yan na siya. And we are having a boy. So, we'll be staying here in the U.S. for two months. Tapos, meron kami mga short side trips to Vancouver and Toronto to visit also some friends. So, right now, we are in San Jose, California. Naka- one week na kami, and in that one week, nakapag-shopping na ako ng makeup. So, ba't ako nagsha-shopping ng makeup? Apart from, mahilig talaga ako sa makeup. And every year, pag pumupunta kami dito, meron akong makeup haul. Um, yung skin ko, nag-change from super oily to super dry ever since I got pregnant. So, lahat ng products halos na ginagamit ko on my face from skincare and yung mga base, yung primer, yung uh, powder, foundation, hindi na nag-work ng maayos on my face. So, naghahanap ako ngayon ng bagong products. Kasi, when we get back, of course, after I give birth, we will have to go back to performing. And, of course, makeup is part of performing. So, kailangan maayos yung itsura ko. So, ang quick fix ko sana sa naging dry skin ko while in Manila were these two... Ba to? Ito, yung photo finish primer ng Smashbox. Ito, iba pala, hindi sila parehong ano lang, uh, charged water. Ito naman, yung charged water skin hydrating mist ng MAC. So, every time na magda-dry yung skin ko, literally, may, minsan magbabakbak siya. In the middle of the day, or in the middle of the set, uh, super na-define yung fine lines ko, or yung laugh line ko, talagang bakat na bakat. And then, minsan parang nagka-crack-crack talaga yung makeup, lalo na pag super lakas ng aircon. Yan, nagsispray lang ako nito. Hoping na pwede na siyang remedy, pero hindi. Habang nagpo-progress yung pregnancy ko, padry ng padry yung skin ko, to the point na yung skin ko sa other parts of my body, nagsusugat na. Ganon siya kasama, kahit na nagbo-body butter ako mga body oils, sobrang sama talaga. So, sabi ko, sige, hindi na pwedeng quick fix, quick fix lang. Ito mga sikin takip. Kailangan na talaga ng panibagong products from the base. Actually, yung base lang naman yung importante. Yung mga lipstick-lipstick, okay lang yun. Yung primer, moisturizer, yung mga skincare, uh, foundation, tsaka powder. So, at the moment, for work, I only use two foundations. So, uh, this one is the Pro Longwear Foundation by MAC. And then, this one is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. Yan. This one I use for outdoor. Kasi very light lang siya. So, sa Pilipinas, ayoko ng heavy pag outdoor. Pero, napakaganda nito kasi full coverage pa rin siya and hindi talaga siya humuhulas. 
Pag indoor naman, pag hotels lalo, and I want a really, really flawless finish, I use this one. And silang dalawa, they work best with the Hourglass Primer. And then, of course, I always finish with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Ayan, kita nyo naman, gamit na gamit na siya. So, itong dalawang foundations lang din yung dinala ko dito sa US. And plan ko lang siyang gamitin sa wedding ng sister ko, which is next week. Kakasal siya sa New York. And then, for the other days, ang plan ko lang talaga, mag-try ng iba't ibang products for my now dry face. So, if you wanna see yung mga pinagbibibili ko the past week, just keep on watching. Ang ginagamit ko lang sa gabi after cleansing with Celetec cleanser and then toning also with Celetec cleanser is the Nivea cream, yung nakalagay sa blue. But for uh, daytime makeup, I wanted a lighter moisturizer. So I got this one from Bliss. Fabulous Drench and Quench. So I asked sa Ulta, yung sales assistant, kung ano yung magandang... Uh, Ba to? Moisturizer for oily skin na light lang. So, this one is cream to water, lock in moisture. And meron siyang hydrozome technology na nagmo-moisturize ng skin kahit hindi siya heavy. So, I will try this one. For primers, I got three. So, one from Smashbox, one from Too Faced, and then one from Becca. So, the Smashbox one is the Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Sinasabi dito, it's uh, for acne prone or sensitive skin. Actually, nakalagay perfect for oily, pero maganda rin daw to for dry kasi it also hydrates the skin. And then this one, Too Faced Proactive Nourishing Hangover Primer. It has coconut water and, probio and it is probiotic based. So, meron siyang skin-reviving properties. We will see. And then, itong Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Kasi na-notice ko, nung naging dry yung skin ko, para siyang naging dull. Super dull. Tapos, minsan nagbabak-bak-bak-bak pa siya. So, bumili ako nito para naman at least meron konting radiance na bubalik sa skin ko. Next, for... Ano ba to? Foundations I got for... I got Too Faced Born This Way. Yan, oil-free. Uh, luminous daw siya supposedly. Para nga, hindi dull yung face. And then I got the CC, uh, It Cosmetics CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. Yan. These two, I got siguro for everyday lang or pag may meetings-meetings kami kasi hindi siya supposedly heavy coverage. And then, pag may performance, for outdoor, I got the MAC Pro, Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. And then, the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation kasi ito daw, maliit na maliit lang na drop, kaya na i-cover yung full face. So, it instant full coverage all day weightless wear. Yeah, so try natin. Tapos since I'm acidic, sometimes ang tendency nung foundations is magdarken. So kahit na nag-swatch ako sa sa store, like ginawa ko sa Sephora and Ulta, minsan talaga hindi naiiwas so, nang darken. So I got the Cover Effects Custom Drops, Custom Cover Drops. Um to lighten the foundation a bit, just in case na mag, may tendency siyang magdarken. Anyway, so yun yung sa mga base. And then, yung last is yung Laura Mercier powder. I got this one actually last year. Nasa, nasan ba kami nun? Nasa Portland ata kami. I was with my friend Trina and I got this one. 
Unfortunately, last year, I wasn't pregnant yet and my face was very, very oily. I, it didn't work for me at that time. But, uh, nag-research ako sa YouTube, okay daw siya sa dry skin. So, tingnan natin if mag-work siya ulit. So, I had to buy kasi yung ganito ko, binenta ko sa groups ko sa Facebook, yung mga pre-loved makeup, ganyan. So, nabenta ko na. So, bili ako ulit ng bago. Now, since wala akong balak masyadong mag-wear ng makeup, bumili ako ng mascara. Kahit hindi ako nagmamascara. Kasi sabi nila, kapag nagmascara ka, at least nabubuhay yung muka, nabubuhay yung mata. So, yung two-faced, better than sex mascara. And then, bumili ako ng blush from Becca. Kasi ganun lang ako eh. Uh, powder lang, blush, kilay, mascara. Tapos, ito yung blush. Becca, I got it in the shade... Ano ba to? Flower Child. Flower Child. Tapos, pumunta rin ako ng MAC. For back to MAC. Nagbitbit ako ng 18 na empty containers na mga lipsticks, foundations... Ganyan, kasi usually mga ginagamit ko for gigs, mga MAC din. So, I got three items for free sa Back to MAC. Uh, freckle Tone Lipstick. And then, Freckle Tone. And then, Twig. Tapos, isang eyeshadow, yung pinaka-popular nila, yung Satin Taupe. So, kung mahilig kayo sa MAC, Ipunin nyo lang yung mga empty containers ng lipstick, kahit ano, powder, powder foundation, foundation, primer. Tapos ipunin nyo siya kasi for every six na empty containers, pinapalitan nila yun ng free lipstick or eyeshadow. Wala nga lang sa Pilipinas, pero kung magagawi kayo sa Singapore or kapag pumupunta naman kayo sa US, yun lang naman yung so far alam ko na may back to back na napuntahan ko na, dalhin nyo na. Ika nga nila, may sinasabi sila na uh, may kung ah, na may pera sa basura, eto naman, may pera sa makeup. Kasi empty containers na siya, hindi niya na nagagamit. Pag nakaipon kayo ng anim, may libre kang lipstick o kaya eyeshadow. Magkana rin yun, mga $17, $18. Or pag sa Pilipinas, $1,000 pesos. So, okay na rin yun. Yan. Tapos, I got, what's this? A retro matte li liquid lip color in... Lady Be Good. Tapos, itong sleeve. Kasi ang dami kong bl uh, blank na MAC palettes. Tapos, wala akong sleeves. So, I got the sleeves for the 15 eyeshadows. Ganyan. Kaya lang, meron ako major bubu. Dinala ko lahat ng mga eyeshadow, pa eyeshadow pans. Pero, kalimutan ko dalhin yung palette. So, sa bahay ko pa sila ma-assemble sa Pilipinas pag uwi. And then, I got two eyeshadow palettes I got the ito, Tartlet in Bloom and then Too Faced Sweet Peach this one is more warm toned this one I think is more cool toned so para balance meron akong cool, meron akong warm lahat pala by the way ng makeup ko na binili right now is for my personal use separate yung sa pro kit ko kasi ayoko pinaghalo yung makeup for me for myself and the makeup for work. So I'll show you my professional makeup haul next week. Then pumunta kami. I wait. Meron kaming meron pala akong freebie. This one I got for free at Sephora. Cordely Beto Vino Source uh, moisturizing survey and radiant serum. So I have to try that for skincare. And then I got this sweet peach, creamy peach oil lip gloss from Ulta. Because it's my birthday month. Yeah, may mga freebie freebie din. Okay, from high end, punta tayo sa uh, drugstore. I got the Eco Tools uh, Perfecting Blender Duo. I already have the Real Techniques. I also have yung Beauty Blender na original. But I wanted to try this one. Kasi ang claim niya, it's... Supposedly, 50% better application than the leading prestige sponge. I wonder what that is. Malamang beauty blender yon. And then, I got elf brushes. Ay, sumabit. 
Kasi, ito rin yung ginagamit ko for my personal everyday makeup sa Pilipinas. Eh, mas mura siya dito. Parang, 3 dollars lang ata isa. 3 or 4 dollars lang. So, binili ko na. If you want a review on this one, just uh, comment below. Tapos, I got Essence Matte Lipsticks in number 6, number 7, and number 1. These are matte, but uh, they're not drying, supposedly. I also got the Essence All About Matte fix, Fixing Compact Powder. I got the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. And then I got two lip liners also from Essence. Kasi super muna ng Essence dito, $3, $4. But that's $160, pesos, $200 maximum, di ba? And Cute Pink. You think and in the nude. Tap another one na essence, pero hindi na siya matte. Number seven, natural beauty. Excuse me. So yan lang yung haul ko. If you want our reviews on certain products, please comment below. Uh, on Tuesday we're flying off to New York. Siguro mag-haul na ako dun ng for my pro kit. So abangan niyo, abangan niyo rin yung dalakong professional kit. Kasi I'm doing my sister's makeup. And then also, abangan niyo mga vlog namin. Nasisilaw na ako. Yun lang for today. Bye!